Now, an international travel website has named Bridlington in the top five of emerging resorts in the UK. Hull is also in the list at number 10. Trivago uses data that shows how much interest has grown in destinations around the world. Samantha Hendricks from the company says Yorkshire as a whole is on the up. Hull is, is the city of culture this year, so that could be an influencing factor. But I also think a lot of the UK travellers are looking at doing more staycations this year. And also there's three destinations in the top ten list that are actually from the same area with Bridlington, Thirsk and Hull. So I think um, that area may be becoming more of a popular destination for UK travellers. Also, you know, Bridlington is a beautiful place. It's a seaside resort, you know, beautiful old town, sand and shingle beaches. So it's actually just it's genuinely I think it is growing in popularity and it may be also um, a result of the city of culture being held this year as well. Well, great news uh, for Bridlington. Our reporter Amanda White has been spending the morning there to see why they think they're in the top five. Well, the tide's right in, but the sea is like a mill pond this morning. And it's one of those mornings where the, the sun is almost blinding you as it sparkles off the, the waves that are just gently rolling in on the beach here. And as usual, the beach is scrupulously clean. And uh, David Dowson is joining me. Now, David, I've been reliably told you're a big champion for Bridlington. I am. Why do you think Bridlington is in the top five of the emerging destinations, the one that's seen the biggest increase in internet searches? Because everybody is seeing off the same hymn sheet. We've been reorganising Bridlington with some fantastic input from the East Riding Council with the money on various projects. Uh, we're only about halfway through the completion of it all, but it's really happening. I deal with people all throughout the North East and Yorkshire and they're saying to me, what the hell is happening at Bridlington? It's just changing week by week. We've got so much more to offer. People are now realising that we're, we're step changing, we're moving the, the goalposts. But when we stand here with you this morning, would you want to go anywhere else? It is amazing. And we're standing on the beautiful um, viewing platform that was built as part of the improvements of the water uh, cleanliness yeah. here on the beach. Because it, it's not been here for enough years for no. it to make a difference for no. the blue flag. But it's coming, isn't it's it? It's fantastic. Yeah. So it's part of it right next door to us there. This is a new... Uh, lifeboat station being built which is more than a lifeboat station it's a tourist attraction as well it's a glorious uh, art uh, deco and, and that's that's linking into the wonderful spa which yeah. is breaking records week by week on its usage and attendance and i think the guy there's got it into profit which is yeah. highly unusual for a building like that at a seaside resort now you're an accountant so you're not you're not a, you're not a, a, a local councillor you're not a yeah. hotelier yeah. what why are, you, why are you devoting yourself? What kind of work are you doing for Bridlington? Well, I was born and bred in Bridlington, and uh, it's been very good to us as here, and we have quite a sizable firm of chartered accountants now. But it's my town. I like it. I've got grandkids growing up here. I'm not doing this for me or my generation. It's the next generation and the generation after that. And, you know, it's unbelievable how quick we're getting to it, and people are noticing what we've been up to for a few years. Now... Dare I mention the marina? You that can mention, my pet <laughs> that's project, been waiting in my, treacle for a my, number of decades my, my now. My pet project started in 1997. We went around the town with a bucket collecting money for a feasibility study, which we got approved by one of the European marine engineering companies. The council adopted the scheme. We've been at it for far too long, but I'm pleased to say, fingers crossed, it's going forward at quite a pace now, with really to be started back end of 18, beginning of 19, with a two- to three-year bill. Now, I was at a guest house earlier where they advertised bicycle storage, so the Tour de Yorkshire has brought people in. Is, is, are we going to see the day, before the decade's out, that, that people are bringing their boats to be tourists here? Well, I've got to say yes, haven't I? I've given it <laughs> so many years of time and different colleagues and committees, but we're, we're there now. There, there's a timetable, there's a rough timetable drawn up. Everybody's uh, signed up to it, including the Harbour Commissioners, who were a bit wary to start with, but they're on side now. They're, they're pulling in the same direction. I would see this either built or very nearly built before the end of the decade. Oh, they, it, it, that makes my heart glad. I'll put uh, you down for the first birth. Yeah, right? absolutely. That the would be wonderful. Birth. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do if it. you had 30 seconds to yeah. explain the magic of yeah. Bridlington to yeah. someone who's never been, okay. the floor's yours. Well, it's, it's in a beautiful location. We tucked in the side of the Yorkshire Woods. We've got that fantastic thing called Flamborough Head. We've got... The, the, the bird sanctuary up at Bempton. It's a nice place to live and it's a safe place to live. We've got the university opening just down the road in Scarborough who identify the Yorkshire Coast as a safe place to live. And that's flavour of the month at the moment. People look where the kid's going to grow up, where's it going to be? 
Bridlington is the place, it's beautiful in itself and we are really, really polishing the gem. David Dowson speaking to Amanda White for us in Bridlington this morning and if you missed that, started that, the reason we were doing that was because an international trade website has named Bridlington in the top five of emerging resorts in the UK.